Well, good day and welcome to the Lenten Devotions. My name is David Brown and I'm from Dolby Anglican. But this Lent, Sunnybank Anglican, All Saints Bouval and Dolby Anglican are teaming up for a preaching series called Promise Maker, Promise Keeper. And every Wednesday of Lent, we're going to release a video all about Lent. And we're going to look at a Bible passage. We're going to explain it in a devotion. And then we're going to spend some time in prayer. And all throughout Lent, we're going to be thinking about God, our promise maker and our promise keeper. And we're going to be thinking about how Lent is a time for us to focus on God as we prepare for Easter. Today, I'd like to look with you at Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 21. And if you haven't read that yet, I encourage you to find a Bible and read it for yourself because it's absolute gold. In the first section of the passage, Jesus talks about giving to the needy. And he says, when you give to the needy, don't announce it with trumpets. Don't make a big deal with it. Don't get an audience together and show everyone how generous you are. Instead, practice your giving so that only God sees. So that only God will reward you when you give to others. Then Jesus talks about prayer. And again, he tells us that we shouldn't announce our prayer. He says, don't be like the hypocrites. Now, a hypocrite at the time was an actor, an actor who wore a mask. And Jesus is saying so many people wear a mask in their life. They wear a mask of success. They wear a mask of beauty. They wear a mask of richness. They wear a mask of religious excellence. But so many of us, while we walk around with masks in our lives, trying to impress others, we're dying inside because we know it's all an act. Jesus says that your life doesn't need to be an act. Instead, you can live authentically. And he gives us a model prayer of praying to God, our Father. And finally, Jesus talks about fasting. Now, we don't fast much in the Western world today, although fasting is becoming uh, more and more popular with people who are trying to lose weight and diet. So they tell everyone when they're fasting and about how much weight they lose. But Jesus says, when you fast, fast for God. And he says, don't uh, walk around with a long face or wear tattered clothes in order to announce to people that you're fasting. If you do that, then you're not really fasting for God. God, your reward is already found in the respect that you gain for people who think that you're religious, but it's all an act. He says, instead, when you fast, put on good clothes, put oil on your head. and Don't announce it to anyone. Instead, fast before God so that you might grow closer to him. Jesus finishes with these beautiful words in Matthew chapter 6, verses 20 and 21. He says, Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Friends, this Lent, I encourage you to think about authentic living. Drop the mask. Drop the act. You're not living to please every single person in your life. Instead, live in such a way that God is the treasure in your life. Live in such a way as if you are playing for an audience of one. To finish, I want to pray the prayer for you that Jesus teaches us in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13. It's the Lord's Prayer. But I'm going to read from the New International Translation. And um, those are the words that I'm going to use. It says this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. We'll have a great first week of Lent, everyone. We'll see you next Wednesday with another devotional video. God bless.